We're now ready to demonstrate how to make a basic measurement. Making a basic measurement is made up of three main parts. The first is to set the environmental conditions appropriate for your, the material that you'll be measuring. The second is to go ahead and clamp on the leaf and have the leaf adjust to the conditions. And third, we will open a log file and log a data point. So to begin with, we need to set our environmental conditions. If you have a CO2 mixer, we need to turn the mixer on and ask for a particular CO2 concentration. We'll go to menu level 2, F3, where it says mixer off. Go ahead and turn your mixer on by going down and selecting reference CO2, press enter, and then let's enter a good ambient value of 400 micromoles. And you'll see at the bottom of this window, it already defaults to that value. If you would like to keep that value, you can press enter. But if you would like to change it to something else, you can type that in at this point. We're going to start with a reference CO2 of 400. So just press enter. Whenever you use your CO2 mixer, your soda lime should be on full scrub. So go ahead and make sure that that's the case. The next thing we need to do is set our light. If you have installed your red-blue light source, we will go and turn our lamp on at this time. And that is also located on menu level 2. And we're going to go to F5 where it says lamp off. Arrow down to where it says quantum flux and press enter. Here we want to enter a good value for whatever your leaf has been used to prior to this point. I am going to be measuring a greenhouse maze that we just removed from the greenhouse and it was seeing bright summer sun so I'm going to ask for a light value of 2,000 micromoles. But go ahead and put in the correct value for your plant material. The next point I want to do is to check what my flow rate is. I'm going to start with a flow rate of 400 micromoles per second. To do that, I'll go to menu level 2, F2, and adjust my flow to 400. Your desiccant should be at the mid-range position. While I'm waiting for my conditions to stabilize, I want to make sure that I have the correct leaf area set in the software. If you'll be filling the chamber, then you can make sure that the leaf area is set appropriate for filling the chamber. If you're only filling it a fraction of the chamber, try to estimate how much of the chamber you are filling. If you're not filling the area completely, the leaf can be removed and destructively sampled for leaf area, or there are various optical methods that you can use to determine leaf area. Leaf area is set on menu level 3, F1. And right now with this maize leaf, I am filling the chamber, so I'm going to leave my area set to 6. So I'm ready to clamp on my leaf. And we want to make sure that the leaf is going to be making good contact with the thermocouple. And then go ahead and close your chamber. In addition, we want to check our stomatal ratio. And you'll notice that's also located on menu level 3, and this is F2. Stomatal ratio is a ratio of the number of stomates on one side of the leaf compared to the other side of the leaf. If you're working with a grass, they have equal number of stomates on both sides of the leaf, and so a value of 1 would be appropriate. And because I'm working with maize, I will make sure that that's set to 1. If you are working with a broad leaf, it's possible that there are more stomates on one side of the leaf than the other. And if that's the case, you'll want to adjust this parameter accordingly. If you have twice as many stomates, on one side of the leaf than you do the other, a value of 0.5 would be applicable. More information about setting the stomatal ratio can be found in the manual. While we're waiting for our leaf to equilibrate to these conditions, I'm going to go and open a log file. And to open a log file, we can go to menu level 1, F1, 
and it will allow you, first of all, to name the data file, and I'm going to name this Maze. Next, it will ask you to enter a remark. This remark shows up as a separate line in your data file, and the remark can be any characters or numbers and have any number of spaces in it. If you would like to enter a remark, go ahead and do so now. Otherwise, you can just press Enter, and it will leave that part blank. Finally, when your data file is open, and you have verified that your leaf is used to your conditions and stable, you can go ahead and log your data point, either by pressing F1 on menu level 1, or you'll notice that there is a log button on the left side of the sensor head, which you can press. And I will hold my log button down, and you'll notice the log counter advances, indicating how many data points you have logged. Now I can go and view that data point by going to View File, F2. And to view the data, you simply press F3, View Data. And then you have the option of how you would like to look at the data. It's best to choose D for Data Set, and that way it will take all of your data and put it into columns for you. To view your data easily, you can hold the shift key down while you press the right arrow and that will move a full screen to the right at a time and if you press your left arrow it will scroll a whole screen to the left at one time. Once you've viewed your data point you can press escape and escape all the way back to new measurements and you're ready to move to your next leaf.